Hi everyone, welcome to week two of our distance learning. Um, I have some new books that I thought that we could read um, that have to do about with spring, but um, focusing more on the animals that we see in spring. So the first book that I have is called Animals in Spring, and it's by Katherine Clay. Let me see a little bit. Oops, sorry, that was so loud. Um, so I can show you the pictures. Animals in Spring by Katherine Clay. Spring is here. Animals are busy in the spring. They build nests and they find food. What kind of animal is that on this page? You can see it. The bird with her baby. Babies are born. A duck finds sticks and leaves and she makes a nest for her eggs. Cute. Soon ducklings waddle. They splash in the ponds. Oh, for cute. Look at those little baby ducks. Let me show you up there. Little baby ducks. Frogs lay eggs and tadpoles hatch. They grow into adult frogs. So the frog lays an egg, and then these little tadpoles up here is what starts out at, and then they um, transform into a frog. They grow arms and legs, and um, they can go on land or in the water. Rabbits make grass nests. Baby rabbits cuddle. Oh, look at those little baby rabbits, guys. Oh, how cute are they? All snuggled up. Fox pups yip. The mothers bring back food. So here's some fox. Sleepy animals wake up. Bats stretch their wings. They look for food at night. So that's why we don't see bats out during the day. You normally start to see them about, about 6 o'clock at night. If you look up in the sky in the springtime and in the summer, you'll start to see bats. And then as it um, gets a little bit darker out at night, in the summertime, about 9 o'clock. Bears leave their dens. They find plants to eat. Oh, look at this silly bear. He's eating a flower. Maybe it's a dandelion, huh? Snakes lie on rocks. The sun warms our bodies. What do you do in the spring? There's that snake. Ooh, remember, Mrs. Boyd does not like snakes. Awesome. Well, I have a couple more books to show you about some spring animals. So, in, the, in that book, they talked about ducks. So, I picked out one called Ducklings. And this is by Moffrey Ferguson Delano. Oh, look at the picture. How cute is that? I love it. It's a wood duck. In early spring, she flies through a tangle of branches and lands by a big hole up in a tree. What's in the hole? Her nest. That's what. What's in her nest? Her eggs. So if you can see her there, she builds her nest inside of a tree. Day and night, the mother duck sits on the eggs to keep them warm. Inside the eggs, baby ducks are growing. After about 30 days, peck, 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 the baby ducks are ready to hatch. Look at this egg. It's starting to get a little crack in it, isn't it? The baby duck is trying to come out. Crack, the baby duck taps and, pe and peck and push their way out of the shell. They are wet and sticky and tired. Hatching is hard work. Look at that. That's a lot of baby ducks, huh? The next morning, the mother duck leaves the nest and swims in the lake below the tree. She softly calls to her ducklings, Ooh, 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 ee, ooh, ooh, ee. I don't know if that's really what they sound like. We'll have to ask somebody that knows what a wood duck sounds like. Tweet, tweet, the fuzzy ducklings cheep. They want to be with their mother, but they can't fly yet. So they climb to the edge of the hole in the tree and... Do you think they peek out? Oh, 
they jump one by one. The ducklings leap from the tree. Down they go, tumbling and turning. Splash! Oh, wow, they're brave little ducks. The ducklings start swimming right away. They follow their mother. Wherever she swims, they swim. That's a good idea, isn't it, to stay by their mom? Wherever she waddles, they waddle. Isn't that cute? Can you see it? Wherever she sits, they sit. And wherever she sleeps, they sleep. Yum! When the ducklings get hungry, they dip their heads into the water and they scoop up plants and bugs and other small animals with their beaks. The ducklings grow up fast. When they are about two months old, they grow a new set of heather feathers. And with these new feathers, they learn to... What do you think? When they get their new feathers, what do you think that helps them to be able to do? Hmm. Let's find out. Fly! Now the ducklings are on their own. No more following mom. The ducklings keep growing and changing. By summer's end, the males are as colorful as a box of crayons. The females look like their moms. So look at that. This one up on top, up here, that's the male duck or the boy duck. And the one at the bottom is the female duck. So the male one has a little bit more color than the female does. When the weather turns cold in the fall, the young wood ducks fly to a warmer place to spend the winter. When spring comes, a male wood duck and a female wood duck will fly to the lake together. The female will lay her eggs in a tree hole, tree hole nearby. So it kind of starts all over again, doesn't it? They come back every spring and have more and more babies. Follow me. And one fine morning, the new mother duck will call for her ducklings to leave the nest and join her. Oh, they're cute. Look at them out on the lake. So here it shows some other excellent animals. So other um, animals that are born out of eggs. Did you come out of an egg? No, it came out of your mom's tummy, huh? Ducklings, ostrich, chicks, owlets, and other baby birds all hatch from eggs laid by their mothers. But they aren't the only babies that come out of a shell. Here are some other examples. A lizard. Let's see the lizard. Uh, a sea turtle. That's Mrs. Foy's favorite animal. Um, tadpoles. Corn snakes. Alligators. They all come out of eggs. Here it says ducky details. Wood ducks are built for climbing, perching, eating, walking, swimming, floating, and flying. Here are some of the features that help them do all of these things and more. So they have a wide, flat beak for scooping up their food. They have sharp claws on their toes for climbing and perching on branches. Webbed feet are perfect for swimming, floating, or walking. So you see their feet? They're called webbed because they're together. So our fingers are not webbed. If they had like a material in between them, they'd be webbed like a duck's. Um, it says they have waterproof feathers that help keep them dry. That'd be kind of cool. It says, how do you keep dry? Do you have waterproof feathers? Probably not. You probably keep dry by wearing a raincoat or staying inside, using an umbrella. Um, and then it says underneath their feathers, the grown-up ducks have a layer of soft feathers called down. Ducklings are covered with down when they hatch. It helps keep them warm. And it says they have a wide rectangular tail, helps keep wood ducks balance on tree branches. Very cool. All right, I have one more story. If you want to stick around for it, feel free. If not, I understand it's hard to sit for a long time, isn't it? This one is called Hop Bunny, and um, it is by Susan Newman. My yard gets so many bunnies in it during the springtime and in the summer, so maybe if I can find a whole bunch out there, I'll have to take a video for you guys. All right, so it says, Hop Bunny. In the forest, a bunny can see many things. Look at him standing up, isn't he, with his big ears standing up straight? Hop, hop, hop. Big trees stand tall. These are the trees, those dark things are the trees. 
others lie down. See those ones? They're not standing up anymore, are they? They fell down. There are leaves and ferns. So leaves grow on trees and then these things over here, can you see them? Those are ferns. And um, there are tiny flowers. So in the springtime, a lot of wild flowers start to grow. I like that picture with the sun up in the sky and then through the trees. Hop, hop, hop. Deer dance through the woods. Oh, wow, pretty. Look at those deer. How many do you count? Four. And so many I counted, too. One, two, big guy, three, and four. Squirrel scamper. There's a red squirrel. And bugs are busy. Do you know what kind of bug that is? It's a praying mantis. He looks like he's praying. Uh-oh. Here's a grass snake. Snakes slither. Wild turkeys trot. Gobble, 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 gobble. Bunnies hop by ponds, streams, and waterfalls in the forest. So you see the waterfall, and then there's a stream, and down here there's a pond. We have a pond by the school. I think one day I'll go out there and I'll take a walk and I'll um, do a video down there too and see what type of animals we start to see once it gets just a little bit nicer. Hop, hop, hop. There goes that bunny. He says, tell a story about a bunny. Pick one picture in each row and tell your story. Oh. So let's, um, oh, so it says, so you have to pretend that you are a bunny, Okay. What plants do you see? Do you see trees, ferns, or flowers? Which one would you like to see? And then it says, what animal does it see? So if you were a bunny, which one would you want to see? A deer, a turkey, or a squirrel? And then, what water would you like to see? A waterfall, or a pond, or a stream? That was pretty cool, a good story. All right, thanks for joining me for more um, story time. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.